Welcome, my name is Andrew Swaby and this is lesson 13. In the previous lesson, we looked at the major pentatonic scale. I hope you were able to practice that in all your keys and come up with patterns that you can use. In today's lesson, we will shift gears just a bit to look at the major seventh chords. I will be doing separate videos to cover the most widely used seventh chords. And those are the major seventh chords, which we will be doing today, the dominant seventh, the minor seventh, the diminished seventh, and also the diminished seventh flat five. cool right um let me know in the chat if you want me to develop this into a full arrangement um with drums and bass and everything um and just make it super epic let me know in the chat i'm already feeling the groove but let's pull this apart all right major seventh chords first when you're formulating your major seventh chords, you want to create your triad first, all right? So major seventh chords are simply triads with the seventh note of the scale on top, all right? So in the case of C major, we have, right? One, two, three, one, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? This B is the seventh note. I'm simply going to play C major triad and add that B, all right? Another way to look at this is to look at it as a major triad, right? With a third on top, a major third on top, okay? Another way to see it is to look at the, the major triad in a root position and also look at the octave above which is going to give you that c again and just move that down one semitone this is super simple when you want to transfer this to other keys right or translate this in other keys if i wanted to take this to g for example this is the g major chord right but if I look up here, I'm seeing another G. I can put this down one semitone. And that's my G major seventh. All right. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to ask you, yes, you, to go to your instrument if you're not already there. All right. If you have a piano or a keyboard, go sit there. And we're going to try to play this groove together. So we're going to play um the c major seventh go into the f major seventh which is the fourth of c and back to c okay so like this and then back to c all right now i have a beat in the background right if you don't have a beat that's okay but it's it's always good to have fun with it um, my way of having fun with it is to drop a beat in um, in this case it's an afro beat in the back just spicing things up a bit um, so check it out all right um, you should be back <laughs> if you're not back go pause the video and, and run to your instrument all right cool so in your left you're going to be playing the same thing um, one thing to note is that I'm playing this in the center of the keyboard, all right? I'm playing this in the center of the keyboard, not below the center, because if I try to do this down here, it's going to sound yuck. It's going to sound muddy, okay? You don't want to do that. You want to do it up here where uh, 
it can resonate a bit better all right and the frequencies are not that ah. all right so i have in my left the same thing so the one the three the five and the seventh go ahead put your fingers on cool and then i'm going to put my right hand right above it cool are you seeing that all right now let's look at where the fourth is before moving our hands all right so one trick that i use to find where to locate my fourth is to look where my third finger my <laughs> my third finger uh to look where my pointing finger is all right so it's on the third that's where i got the third from guys it's on my third all right um so to look right beside it see that f is going to be the fourth so already my left hand um i'm looking there and i can see that my pinky is going to go on that f and it's going to continue the same formation all right so it's that triad find the octave and then drop it one semitone all right aka um an interval of a major third on top all right aka the seventh note all right so this is what we have and then to the four all right now to make it sound groovy right you have to make it wavy <laughs> right not because my name is swavy but you get the point all right corny i know so um if you look at my fingers right you can see like it's doing a, a mexican wave of, of some sorts so it's going like that all right that way it's not just dry and choppy like right it has some vibe to it all right right some swag right all right so and then i'm going to just bounce on the fifth note to add that seasoning on top all right and then i'm going up to the four all right now you can go ahead and practice that until your fingers get used to this please do not get discouraged all right this can take a minute for beginners to get all right this can take a hot a really good minute like you can be playing this for two hours before you get your fingers to say okay i'll follow you okay um so don't don't get stressed out all right because what i want us to do now is to translate that to other keys so i'm going to go to c sharp all right and i'm doing the same thing i'm playing the c sharp major triad and then i am going to find that octave and i'm going to drop it down a semi all right doing that with my right all right and i'm already looking at where the fourth is which is at that f f sharp right so i'm just gonna carry my whole hand over all right and then back same thing for the f for the f sharp we have the triad and then major third over that five to give us that f yep and we are set hey let's try that let's try that check this out see that yo that was that was pretty cool hey 
for real for real let me know in the chat if i should build this out into like a real beat I, I'm, I'm feeling this i'm feeling this see that now what i just did was i played the notes of the the major seventh using octaves right and you can already see that this is what a lot of um, neo soul and even um, worship music they use this a lot Instead of just playing a dry triad you add some spice to it right um, but also you have to ensure that you're thinking about what the singer is singing as well um, you're not going to necessarily play this every time um, especially if it's um, if it's not gelling right with the vocals so you have to um, listen for that and we'll get into progressions we'll get into um, air training and um, all of that but for right now let's get these seventh chords down all right so let's that was C sharp let's take it to D all right same principle try it add the seventh all right the fourth is going to be G so we have right um then we're going to take it to d sharp all right or e flat all right and the fourth of that all right um and so your homework or your assignment is to play this in all your other keys all right so four um sorry e all right um f You have to have some rhythm too. <laughs> All right. All right. Go to A. Go to B flat. Go to B. So I pretty much did the homework for you so all you need to do is go back watch that um, and practice it all the way through all right another thing that I want to mention is with triads there are pretty much three ways of playing the chord or three positions right so we have root um, first inversion and second inversion because the major seventh chord comes with four notes right there are four different positions so we have the root first inversion and all i'm doing is taking the note that's at the bottom and i'm putting it on the top right second inversion i took the e and i put it on top and i'm going to take the g now for the third inversion and i'm going to put it on top 
right? And if I took this and put it back on top, we're back at um, the root, all right? So that's it, guys. Um, go ahead, practice your inversions, practice that groove in the other keys, and I'll see you in the next one. That is it. Now, remember, the goal is not to be the best in a day. The goal is to become better every time you play. So hey, if you like that one, check out the next one. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and let's be better together.